A300 amplifier back at the workbench. I tried using 6L6GC tubes in here in place of 6V6. Even though I installed an additional filament transform for the 6V6 or the 6L6s, they ended up drawing too much current and the power transformer started getting pretty hot. And I guess I didn't quite understand about the tubes, but I think I understand better now in that the 6L6 has a different transconductance than a 6V6. And I think what it means is that the 6L6 will draw more current at a given plate voltage than the 6V6 will. I guess it's like a different different resistance to it in a way. But anyway, I learned that even though those 6, 6L6s sounded really great and powerful, they just draw too much current for this kind of small amp. So I thought, well, I'm not going to be able to use 6L6 in here. So I thought I'd go back to 6V6, but I got a real good suggestion from Max Arcade. And I think this suggestion will, will solve the problem in this. That is to put a resistor in the incoming power line, the AC power line, to the amp. For test purposes, I removed the fuse and uh, put the resistor across the fuse holder terminals. Of course, it won't run it without the fuse in actual use. We'll have to splice it in there. So let's take some voltage readings. We've got 6V6 tubes back in the uh, A300. Now let's measure the voltage coming in from the power line. And the line voltage is, let's see, about 100 and it's fluctuating between 118 and 120 volts. Okay, now the amp started to warm up. So what I'm going to do is unplug it. And now we're going to measure the voltage on the other side of the resistor, the lower voltage side. We've got a 25 watt 10 ohm resistor here. I'll have to do my E equals IR calculations and make sure I got enough wattage there to safely operate the resistor for the long term. But now I got the voltmeter AC on the low side of the resistor. So let's see what the voltage is now. The amp is starting to draw current, so we're getting the voltage job. And now the voltage measured there is about 113 volts. This may seem insignificant, but it makes a big difference in the plate voltage going to the 6L6 or the 6V6 tubes. I'm going to measure plate voltage now. One is just with the fuse in, shunting out the resistor. And then I'm going to measure the plate voltage at the 6V6 tubes with the resistor in place. Now the resistor has been bypassed by putting the fuse back in. And let's measure the 6V6 plate voltage. Three hundred and forty-three volts. It's getting up there near the limits of what the six V six can handle. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the fuse so the resistor is gonna go back in the circuit. And I'll check the plate voltage now. And I was kind of amazed at how this really tamed down that high plate voltage. See, now it's only about 315 volts, which I think is a lot more comfortable for the 6V6 tubes. And it sounds good still. going to make one more measurement with the resistor in there and that's to measure the cathode voltage at the 6V6 tubes. Here's the cathode voltage at the 6V6 cathode. We've got it on for this pair here. We've got a 270 ohm resistor in the cathode circuit and the voltage is about, about 18 volts. So when I calculated the current being dropped across the resistor, I think it's very similar to what was being drawn originally, or even a little bit less. So I'm thinking it's an acceptable amount for the 6V6s. 
and it kind of varies. I guess it varies according to the audio signal. If you put a capacitor in there, it would stay constant, but this provides additional negative feedback without the capacitor. So I'm going to test it here, but I think the resistor is going to prove the solution to keeping this amp working properly. Again, a big thanks to Max Arcade for that suggestion. I'm going to have to take it home, and we're going to have to put this resistor in the circuit, and we'll take it home and give it a longer-term test. We're now getting a more consistent reading for that cathode voltage there. It looks like the Zenith 6V6, actually the filament pin got loose and the filament went out, so it wasn't drawing the proper amount of current. It was just drawing about half as much current because only one tube in the pair was operating. But still, I think this uh, voltage value correlates to a, a good current rating uh, being drawn on the 6V6s. Let's play another song here. Let's do, I'll do the test song we did earlier on it. quite have the oomph of the six L6 tubes, but still not too bad, and I think it'll sound even better hooked up to the speakers at home. 